Andy from thesimpleguitar.com. Uh, welcome to our first and brand new course, Jam Man Bob. So, this course is for everybody who is able to play some, uh, some chords and maybe already knows the pentatonic. But it's also for people that are really good guitar players already because what we learn here is the base of everything, it's the sound, it's what comes out of your fingers and um, whether you play heavy metal or blues or whatever this is the base for every guitar player and um, yeah um, we uh, we know that guitar playing overall is really really it's really difficult really complex <laughs> It's uh, so many things you mix, it's rhythm, it's, it's notes, it's scales and um, uh, this is why we work only on simple scales in this course. So if you know the pentatonic, this is more than enough. But what we do is we break down the complexity. We break down the complexity of playing into four major parts. It's sound variations, it is rhythm, it is talking and speaking and phrasing and it is finally scales and chords and um, what does that mean? So um, when we talk about um, sound variations it's about little things like a vibrato, listen to that this is how you could play a little song from Stevie Ray Vaughan <laughs> Alright, sounds okay but listen to that It's different, really, and it is not the amp, it's not the guitar, it is your fingers. And this is really essential to know. And, uh, well, vibrato, vibrato is one of the important things. We have a vibrato, we have uh, bendings, we have slidings, we have hammer-ons, pull-offs. A lot of things we do and one really important thing is the right hand, the picking of the right hand. So the right technique to hold the pick, to hammer into that. Because uh, if you, you could hit strings like this. Or like this. Alright, it's different, it's really different. So, uh, a strong right hand, strong left hand, this is the base of your sound. So, and then we have a good guitar sound, we, we sound good, we have um, a good hitting. The next step is the second element, this is rhythm. So, uh, once we, uh, as long as we really stay in the pentatonic, um, it's, we, it's only five notes. So, this is limited somehow. And uh, to get variations inside there, to, to get a diversity in our music, we need rhythm and um, well rhythm you can learn rhythm wherever you are what we do is that we learn doing the rhythm with our mouth okay this is what we learn and uh, we have a lot of drills for that and and the, the the magic of this is hitting a rhythm or singing a rhythm and then hitting it on the guitar okay so we sing that rhythm and then we play it. Da, da, ga, da, ga, da. Okay, and what I do here is really I have I have this rhythm and I I hammer it on this pentatonic scale without thinking. I don't learn licks, I just play it along and I have an idea of where I want to go with my with my notes. And um uh, later on, then uh, you you can really sing this melodies you want you want to get in your uh, in your uh, solos. But uh, in the beginning, it's really more than enough if we have a cool rhythm and we hammer it on the pentatonic. This is what we do in rhythm. Uh, the next thing is um, talking and phrasing. So what does that mean? So it's like in in life, if if a person is is talking like ba 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 is going to be boring really immediately so you, you lose focus and think about something beautiful uh, and it's the same with guitar playing so if you play a solo like this it's, it's nice playing but it's 
it's boring, yeah. And uh, what we have to do here is that we start putting our souls, breaking it down into, into, into parts and telling stories. And you can really tell a story like uh, when you met your first um, girlfriend or boyfriend or uh, whatever story. If the first time you've been out there playing guitar. So I was in that shop. <laughs> And then I saw it. A red, beautiful guitar. Oh, it was woo. Okay, and so you build up your, your, your solos with stories. And, and uh, our world is working with stories. Every time we communicate, it's about stories. And we should play and uh, tell stories with our guitar as well. Okay. And the fourth element we have is, is scales and, um, and chords and um, of course there are a lot of scales and a lot of theory, theoretic things you can know and you can use but to be a good guitar player you need this bass sound it's not about scales so many good guitar players uh, that are famous really just playing simple scales like the pentatonic uh, so uh, I think this is really the most important thing when playing guitar, having a good bass sound, having good rhythm, talking and speaking, and maybe adding some flavor to your chords. Instead of playing just an, uh, a major chord, you play a major seven uh, or dominant seven or whatever. And uh, we will uh, learn some of those, uh, let's say, quick wins um, just to have a, a great sound. This is what we're going to do. We're going to extend the pentatonic a little bit. Oh, sorry. By some chromatic stuff and by the blue notes. And then you already have a big variety. And um, we'll have a focus on landing notes. So you can play whatever note you want, but the note you stay at the end is a really important note. This is the so-called landing note. And yeah, this is what we do in Jam and Bob. It's a course for everybody who wants to get a good sound, a better sound, for everybody who thinks, oh, my souls are sounding so boring, sounding like this. Okay, instead of... Okay. And, uh, well, I would be really happy to see you there and uh, enjoy life, jam a lot, and uh, see you then. TheSimpleGuitar.com